Good afternoon. It is about 3.10 on Saturday afternoon. And I drove down to the bridge. You can kind of see it there. <laughs> um, having a bit of a, a bit of a day. I don't feel good. I thought maybe if I sat outside for a little bit, got some fresh air and some sunshine, it might help. Sorry, there's a motorcycle started. <laughs> I'm sitting in a parking lot. As I do. I don't usually come to this one, certainly not during the day. It's quite busy. I don't know why I decided to come here, but whatever. Forget how busy it gets down here. It's a very popular spot. Oh wow. Yeah, I don't know. I have a headache today. My neck is all tight. It hurts. My left side. And I just feel all around kind of meh. I even tried to gussy up. I did a little bit of makeup and put a wig on. My outfit is super cute. A little more pink than I would normally do. I'm not really a pink person, but there. I did my nails last night. They're really, really messy. <laughs> There's a quite blurry curve. <laughs> but they're on. So, there's that. say that. I think it's like 20, 21 degrees Celsius. Zero humidity. Very nice breeze. Definitely lagging weather. But obviously still t-shirt. I like this weather. If I was feeling better, I'd be doing yard work. I have literally done nothing today. It took everything I had to get in the shower, which I needed sorely. I don't know if I'm in a funk because I have a headache and my neck hurts, or if I have a headache and my neck hurts because I'm in a funk. <laughs> I was even watching reaction channels on YouTube today, like all day today, because that usually cheers me up. I like to hear people break stuff down and their opinions on music they don't normally listen to, and that kind of stuff. I don't know it. I don't know. I just like it. I like music. I love music. I listen to um, the Tom McDonald and Dax collaborated work piece, whatever, yesterday. Um, I think it was called Propaganda. I love, love Tom McDonald. I love his lyricism. Rap isn't something I'm particularly into, but I think that's because of me. Um, general themes that are seem to be associated with rap. I liked it when I was really, really young. But my mom never allowed it to the house. She, she, which was funny because she would let my brother, I remember my brother bringing home um, Guns N' Roses' first album, Appetite for Destruction. And that has some, I mean, it's very anti-drug and anti-alcohol and whatever, but I mean, if you're not actually listening to the lyrics, 
it comes off as very pro. Um, and he was allowed to listen to that. <laughs> I love Guns N' Roses, don't get me wrong. I am a hard rock, punk, metal kind of girl. But I respect all genres. I just love music, I don't care. If it moves me, I like it. But the collaboration I listened to yesterday, this propaganda, I'll tell you, I've never heard, well, I've heard of Dax. I know he's another, or I'm pretty sure, he's another independent artist, which I automatically respect. Um, but I've never heard any of his music before. Um, he's not bad. He kind of sing raps, in my opinion. He's very melodic. But so is Tom McDonald, I feel. I feel he's very melodic in his rapping. And Tom McDonald uses a lot of grit, which is very rock, and I love that shit. Lyrically, I thought that propaganda was brilliant. But I think, and the video was very good, too. But I think it's one of those songs that will grow on me the more I listen to it. It's not one of those immediate, I love it songs. I respect it. I don't know if I play it in my car at this point. <laughs> I don't know that I download it. I have to listen to it a few times, I think. I didn't have anything in particular to talk about today. I just kind of felt like it was a good reason to get out of the house. So I'm sorry if I'm scrambling for things to talk about. But I'm actually out in the public and it's really weird. But whatever. And it's hard to move my head. I'm very uncomfortable today. I was texting with my boyfriend a little bit. His buddy came over and they did a walkabout. He got out and got some, he was working today, my, my boyfriend. So it was nice that he got out and got some air and a little bit of exercise. Guide around with his buddy. You know. I think he said he was gonna go clean out his shed. He's trying so hard start um, his own little side business for like fixing cars and engines and what have you. Make a little extra coin. it works for him. That would be nice. It'd be nice to see him happy. I know he's miserable at work right now. And that sucks. Spend so much time at work. It's not a it's not a place you want to be miserable at. You don't want to dread going. You know. Really hurts. <sighs> My angles aren't weird. It doesn't really matter. Whatever. Who cares? I may end up having to sit in the car because defeats the whole purpose of coming here, but whatever. It is so clear blue out today. It's so pretty. It would be nice to be able to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. 
Well, so much to do today, and I can't be bothered to do any of it. I just don't care. Yeah, I need to sit in the car. My neck freaking hurts. Give me a second here. I gotta get off the curb. Grab uh, some smokes and coffee. All these people driving around all happy and shit, it's so fucking annoying. <laughs> Sucks to be in a funk and see everybody else all happy and shit. It fucking pisses me off. <laughs> oh, fuck, my neck hurts so much. I must have slept funny on it. Fuck my life. I hope that's all it is. Maybe I'll suck it up later and I'll clean my tub in my shower and then then I can take a hot bath or something. Maybe loosen it up a little bit. That would be awesome. Well, I made a couple Amazon purchases today. Do shit like that when you feel like Bleh. it's like ah fuck let's just buy some shit see if that helps. <laughs> I was so unhappy with how my nails turned out. I mean they're on so whatever. I knew there'd be a learning curve, but I hate the learning curve. <laughs> I think my brush was all wrong. <laughs> I think that's part of it. Of course, the other part is I'm not a nail tech. And I've never worked with gel before in this fashion. So, but I ordered some brushes, just some cheap brushes, because I don't need the best of the best. I'm not a nail tech. Don't plan on doing anybody else's fucking nails. So, that don't matter. It was like 10 bucks or something like that. So I should have those, I guess, by, I don't know, Tuesday or something. And I ordered a wig. I've never ordered a wig off Amazon before. I've done it plenty of times off of Facebook. I don't recommend it. I get burned every time. I've done it like four times, and each time I got fucking burned. They advertise as lace frontal wigs, and they're not. They're full cap wigs. Which, generally, if you see me wearing a beanie with my wigs, it's because it's a full cap wig. <laughs> Fucking pisses me. I hate full cap wigs. They look very wiggy. They're very, very Halloween-y. You get that stupid bump in the front. <sighs> but whatever. They're my fall winter wigs, but I can wear a toque and, or a beanie and not look like a fucking moron. So we'll see. That was like 60 bucks, I think. And that'll probably come, I don't know, sometime in October. The colors are really pretty. It's like a, like a mermaid, mermaid style, I guess. I don't know. It's like blues and greens and whatever. It's, it looks fun. Long as it's lace front, that's all I care about. For 60 bucks, I don't expect great quality, but it advertises as a lace front, so it better be a fucking lace front. <sighs> you know? Mm-mm. And the colors better be at least close to what's shown because the last wig that I ordered that was supposed to be, it was supposed to be blue through the top 
and fade into this like almost like a chartreuse. It's fucking beautiful. And it was like an inverted bob, which is one of my favorite haircuts. Um, and I was so stoked for it. And it wasn't at all. It, it's just, it's green. Turquoise, but more on the green side. And it's long. <laughs> Whatever. And it was full cap. Also advertised as laser. I was fucking pissed. And it took like five months to fucking get it. I was so mad. Whatever. That was off of Facebook. Don't order, don't order off Facebook ads. Don't, anything, never, nothing. It's all made in Taiwan and they don't understand you and they fucking lie through their teeth and <sighs> their refund policy is a joke. That's the other place I had a hard time like that. Uh, pretty Little Things. I did an order off of Pretty Little Things once. Um, and I realized at checkout, because I'm a dumbass, that was my fault. That it was... Fuck. It's like in the UK or something. It, it's it's not in, in... It's not in Canadian currency. It's not in Canadian currency. It's whatever fucking currency that they are in the U, in the UK. And I thought, okay, fine. Well, whatever. I mean, as long as it comes. and it, I mean, I know it's fast fashion, so you're kind of taking your chances with quality. Which is fine. I knew that. But it was nothing. Nothing. Like the description. And not even remotely close to the photo. Like, I, I was pretty sure I got the wrong thing. And then I checked it against my order. And no, it, it was, that was it. It's just, it was a pair of pants. Um, like a teal pair of pants, very dressy. And they were long and baggy. And I thought they'd be great with like, I'm a shoe whore. And I have these beautiful stiletto shoes closed toe shoes they're beautiful um and i thought these pants would be absolutely gorgeous with it um but when they can't i mean they're completely transparent like completely transparent you yeah you would have to wear fucking leggings under them like it's stupid i was so pissed and then I ordered a bodysuit, which I'm actually wearing under my t-shirt here. Um, and it was a one size fits all kind of deal. Well, I mean, it fits and it doesn't. It's, I have a short torso, so this would fit like a kid. I don't fucking know, a teenager maybe. It's not supposed to be a thong bodysuit, but I'm here to tell you it it fits like a thong bodysuit because it don't fit my fucking torso. The the ribbing for the legs is like above my hip by like a couple inches. So if I wear jeans with it, they have to be high-waisted jeans or you're going to see the seam of the fucking bodysuit like it's crazy. Like I said, it fits, but, and it's a pain in the ass to snap, let me tell you, like, it's fucking, you gotta stretch that shit. <laughs> mm -mm. But the return policy was a fucking joke. And they wanted to refund less than half. And I bet you, I mean, I ordered, I ordered the pants and I ordered the bodysuit. I think for both, it came to... I don't know, just over a hundred bucks or something Canadian. I was like, oh, fuck your hat, man. Like, fucking whatever. And 
<clears throat> Shoddy business practices. Fuck me. So, won't order from there again. Live and learn. I ordered this. I thought it was a bodysuit from this place, this like online store. I think it's called Goth gothic babe or something like that <clears throat> I've ordered stuff I've, I've ordered several things from there um, so I didn't fault them for this because I mean, you're gonna get it you're gonna get a fuck up you order any place often enough right and they did try to fix it um, but I thought it was a bodysuit so when I got it and it's beautiful it is a beautiful piece but it's actually a bralette. So when I put it on, like imagine my shock. Like, again, like I have a short torso and this thing is like just under my boob and I'm thinking it's a fucking bodysuit. I just about fucking lost. And of course it, it doesn't, like there's no closure because it's a bralette. What the fuck? <laughs> So I messaged them and they're like, I don't know what to tell you. It's a bralette. And I was like, but it was advertised as a bodysuit. And they said, well, you know, send us your, a copy of your order. So I did. And they sent it back to me and they're like, yeah, it says bralette on it. So I went and I looked at Fuck yeah, it did. I was like, oh. but in the picture, The model is, is wearing the bralette and a pair of jeans, like high-waisted jeans. And it looked like this bralette was a bodysuit. Like it wasn't just under the sitting under her boob, like it was covering, right? I was like, well, you're I see, you know, okay, my bad. I didn't read the th the description correctly. My bad. But your picture is completely inaccurate. Like a bralette doesn't go like down as far as a crop top or down as far as a shirt. A bralette is just that. It it goes under the boob. Like it just like it, it's a pretty bra is what it is. Like with no support. Like fuck sakes. They offered to, they offered to, they offered to, well, not refund me, but give me store credit. I was like, yeah, it's fine. It's super pretty. It's just not at all what I wanted. <laughs> the trials and tribulations of online shopping. I suppose. I also got an email from Amazon today. I ordered... Eight or ten cloth masks for Monkey. I think it was like eight or ten cloth masks for twenty bucks or something. I, I I don't understand the price of these fucking masks. Jesus goddamn Christ. <sighs> fucking money grab. Whatever, he needed them. The dollar store was selling them for like like singles for four dollars. Fuck that shit. And then Walmart was selling a Hanes brand, a box of I think it was five for seventeen dollars. Uh, go fuck your hat, Hanes and Walmart. So I guess this is the the lesser of the two evils. Just hot as balls in this car. This place is busy. There's 
a fry truck over there. I wonder if I should get poutine. I haven't eaten today. Boo Boo's home today. He didn't work again today. He hasn't left his room. He come down once. He was, I don't know, looking for a movie or a game or something down in the living room. And I don't think he would have acknowledged my existence at all if I hadn't have said, hey, Boo Boo. <laughs> Excuse me. open this coffee again. Every time I vlog, I have an, o an open and an unopened coffee. And I always finish the one and then I have to open the other. And I never think to do it before I start filming. Okay, I need two hands for this. I'm sorry. Here. I don't want to blind you by having it. That didn't work at all. My dashboard is very slanty. Okay, give me a second here. Swap the coffees around. Try not to hit the pause or the stop button. I hate it when I do that. And I gotta trash it and stir it all over. Yeah, it is a beautiful day. Maybe tomorrow will be nice too and I'll be in a better mood to enjoy and appreciate it. That would be nice. Well, anybody watching, what are you doing today? How you feeling? I was having weird dreams as, as I woke up this morning. I don't, I couldn't tell you what they were about, but I woke up just feeling really strange. Like I woke up twice. I woke up once and it was still not dark, but the sun was just sort of coming up. Oh, I know why my fucking alarm went off. I forgot to turn my goddamn alarm off. My alarm went off as if I was going to fucking work. I was like, um, no. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> A quarter to seven on my day off, fucking alarms going. I was not impressed. <sighs> so I had to get out of bed and turn that off because I keep my phone charged across, like, on the charger across, across the room so that when it goes off, I have no choice but to get out of bed because... I am that girl. I, I will totally hit snooze. I fucking hate mornings. And morning starts as soon as I open my eyes. I don't care if it's fucking noon. <laughs> For the first, like, hour and a half or so that I'm up, I just fucking hate everything. <laughs> Excuse me. So I turned that off and I went back to bed. And I woke up at nine o'clock. Like I said, just feeling weird, like just weird dreams or something. Just, you know, you wake up and you're like, what the fuck? But you don't know why? It was like that. So I thought, well, do I go back to bed or? <laughs> like, I don't know. I laid there for a little bit. And I got bored and I was like, fuck it, whatever. So well, we'll get up and we'll go get our coffees and, you know, 
I watched my vlog last night instead of this morning. Cause the plan was, because I'm a creature habit, okay? I need to watch my vlog every morning. <laughs> and I thought, well, I'll watch it tonight. I watched it last night while I was doing my nails. And the thought being, well, I'll get up between 8.30 and 9. And go to Timmy's, grab a couple coffees. Come home. <clears throat> get one coffee in me. Get showered. You know, get cleaned up. All that stuff. Cut the grass. Start emptying the pool. Start some laundry. And start cleaning my fucking house, right? Because I haven't done anything. All week. I didn't clean last weekend. No, I didn't clean last week. Like, I tidied, but I didn't clean. So I thought, well, I'll clean and get all that shit done. Do some laundry. And then, you know, probably finish the laundry on Sunday. And that would be it, right? Just fucking get everything done. Monday, I have a bunch of phone calls and driving around I gotta do. Monday is, is another day off for me. I got up fully intending to do all of that. I realized my neck hurt. And I was like, all right, well, we'll, you know, fucking take some ibuprofen and power through. Like, whatever. It's fine. Went and got my coffee. Came home. Sat on the couch. And there I sat until about half an hour, 45 minutes ago. Didn't shower. Didn't do nothing. Fuck, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> I mustered up all my shit, got in the shower, got dressed. Pretty in pink today. I don't know. I don't know why I hate pink. <laughs> Whatever. Went out and had another cigarette. Kept watching the YouTubes. And I was like, fuck it. Okay, you know what? I put a little bit of makeup on, get my teeth brush, maybe put a wig on, go for a drive, get outside, right? Maybe go do a vlog, sit out outside, like sit in a parking lot outside. Get some fresh air, get some sun, talk about some shit. You know, at least that's something, right? Apparently I do fuck all around the house today. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Do I want poutine? Kind of want poutine. I don't even know if I have any cash on me or not. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -mm. I don't know. I finished up my vlog yesterday or last night and uh, went over to my buddy's for a little Well, I got home around, I don't know, eight ish and uh, realized I was supposed to call my buddy yesterday. I totally forgot. And I thought, well, I'll give him a call and see if he's up to anything. Maybe we'll go over. Like, I I'd stopped on my way home and I grabbed a coffee and I grabbed some chili. Because I didn't have any soup on and I was hungry. I didn't feel like going, like, driving around looking for shit to eat. That might be why I feel a little funny, too. Because I can't, I can't do the meat thing. But I ended up going over to my buddy's, gave him a call. He's like, yeah, come on over. I would rather do that than sit on the phone. Fuck, I was talking to him Thursday night, I guess. I think he phoned me Thursday night. I bet you were on the phone for at least a good hour. That fucking drives me crazy. I hate being on the phone. 
I'm taking them on and off speaker, fucking around on the computer, playing cards on the phone. Like, <laughs> I hate being on the phone. <sighs> yeah, so I figured I'll just go over. Shoot the shit for a little bit. I think I came back home about quarter to twelve. started doing my nails. I was done my nails by 1.30. I thought I made pretty good time. But maybe I rushed it. I don't know. They feel smooth and everything. They're not like bumpy. I mean, they're cut kind of weird. And I can see spots that I, I missed putting the fucking gel shit on. And like, it looked fine last night. This morning, I'm looking at it. It's fucking horrible fucking horrible. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. It just looks like I painted my nails really badly is what it looks like. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to go on like that. I did something wrong. <laughs> I started using a, a slip solution with basically rubbing alcohol um and it was reacting funny so on my other hand I did it without it and it was a little better but I, I think I, I think I had the brush wrong and like I had the wrong kind of brush I don't know so I ordered I ordered a small pack of brushes <sighs> more oval because what I had was very flat and very square these are a little 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 fuller and oval so maybe they'll do a better job I don't know we'll see we'll see oh yeah Fucking dudes on crotch rockets. Fucking idiots. Yeah, little fast and furious wannabes. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I don't know. I can't even see my timer here. The light is, it's so bright, but I can't see with my sunglasses on or off. <laughs> I'm having a day, man. I'm such a whiny fucking bitch today. I hate that shit. Fuck me. Oh my God. I was telling my boss yesterday, I, well, I'd gotten an email from this place that um, does drag shows. I love me a drag show. And the last one I went to in this town was, I mean, the show itself was amazing. The performers were fantastic. The venue was disgusting. It was a fucking hole. It was it was dangerous. It was in a really shitty part of town. It was too small. The drinks were terrible. It was just really cheap. <laughs> this one that I got an email invite for. Um, I can't remember where it said it was. It, it's in town, but I can't remember where the venue was. But it was like, I think tickets were starting at like $78 and I went by table. So, you know, like three to a table, six to a table, nine to a table, like that, right? And the price went up accordingly. So I copied and pasted that email to my Facebook and I posted it and I tagged 
one of my friends in it who also loves a good drag show. And she she replied back and I got it the next day saying like like I don't care if I'm dead, we're fucking going. And I was like, sweet. So while I'm waiting for my boss to come pick me up, I'm you know, jumped back into that email and I you know, clicked accept invite or whatever the fuck and it brings you to all the information. Well it is, at that point, it was completely sold out except for the, it was either six or nine people table. And that was like $110, which between six or nine people, whatever the fuck it was, is, is a damn good price, right? You split $110 between, we'll say six people, like that's fucking awesome. But I don't know four other people that want to fucking go. <laughs> I was like, God damn it. Like, are you fucking kidding me? And the show's in like Octo October 22nd. So 24 hours after I got this fucking email, half the show's already sold out. Like it goes quick. I was so mad. I was so mad. So I messaged her back and told her, and she was like, fuck, I was like, I know. Like we suck ass. Like such is life, whatever. <laughs> So I was talking to my boss about it when she'd come and pick me up because it was just the two of us on Friday and uh, she's laughing at me. I think she thinks I'm absolutely crazy. I was like, I love that shit. I fucking love drag shows. I fucking love them. I love drag shows. I love strip joints. I don't care if it's men. I don't care if it's women. I don't give a fuck. If you know how to work that pole or you can do a fan dance or you can do a, you know, like the guys do, the, do like the male version of a fan dance, usually with a towel or something. I fucking love that shit. I don't need you, like, don't just get naked and swing your shit around. You need to have some fucking skills. You need to be able to work a pole or a fan dance. Like, you need you need to be able to impress me because anybody can get naked and shake, shake their shit. Like, I don't fucking care who you are. But I fucking love that shit. I fucking love it. And, uh, yeah, she was laughing at me. <sighs> She's like, you have very, very, very odd and, and, and wide range of, of, you know, interests or whatever the fuck I wish she said. I was like, huh, yes. Like, I wanted to take my boyfriend for his 40th to the strip joint. I wanted to buy him a lap dance. I wanted to buy him lap dance so bad. But we were in lockdown. Mm -mm. He wouldn't have gone anyway. I brought it up to, well, I wanted, I, I had asked him, I don't know, a couple of years ago. <sighs> he was like, eh. like, really? Really, my dude? Who doesn't want to go to the titty bar? Come on. So buy a lap dance and a hooter shot. I'll buy me a lap dance and a hooter shot. Let's do this. Come on. <laughs> Couples lap dance. Woohoo. <laughs> yeah, he'd have no part of it. So if your man tells you that he thinks it's hot if girls like like will go to a female strip joint, they're lying through their fucking teeth. I have never in my life had a boyfriend that was down for it. Ever. Never. Because I've offered all the time. I offer all, all of them. Let's go. You want to go to the titty bar? That's great. Let's go. I fucking love the titty bar. Let's go. Go by yourself and you can't go with me. I don't get that. I'm a good time. I love me a lap dance. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I prefer lap dance from women than I do from men. Men tend to shake their dick in your face. I don't fucking like that. I don't need your cock in my face. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Mm. We used to have two strip joints here. I think they're both shut down now. I know, I know the, scu the scuzzier one of the two is closed. The not as scuzzy one, I think the owner passed away. Like just before, or just after lockdown. I can't remember. But I haven't seen, like I drive by it from time to time. And I've never seen like the sign hasn't changed, the the marquee hasn't changed or anything, so I don't know. It's too bad though. I mean people gotta make their money, I don't judge. I think it takes balls, I could do it. Who knows? Maybe they all have OnlyFans pages now. We're doing some other sort of online work. It's safer anyway. If you're going to do that kind of thing, do it online. Just saying. Much safer. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's fucking hot in here. Dude. Well, I don't know. I've been rambling for a little bit. I think we're at about the 45 minute mark or something like that. I can't see the numbers. The sun's all too bright. My glasses are too dark. Can't win for losing. So, I think I've rambled on. Long enough meaningless chit chat and random banter I don't know I don't know anybody watch this good for you <laughs> appreciate it I'm gonna jump off though I think maybe I'll go find maybe I'll go find some junk food I need junk food like a fucking hole in the head but whatever I'll go find some junk food or something I fucking know curl back up on the couch and be a lump in a cute pink outfit whatever I don't know anybody watching have a great day have a good weekend take care of yourself and we'll talk later <laughs>